changing colors on Minecraft Bedrock Edition chat. That's what we're going to be showing you how to do in this video. And there's no reason to waste time. First thing you want to do is get the colors of Minecraft Bedrock Edition chat and basically the color codes for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. To do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is our in-depth article. It's got things for paper servers, Java Edition, Bedrock Edition, everything you need to know. But for this video, we want Bedrock Edition. So we're just going to click here. It's going to move us down to the bottom. You can also scroll down to this section. But Minecraft Bedrock Edition color codes, right here they are. Now, with these color codes, the thing you need to copy is this squiggly symbol, right? This little squiggly symbol. The rest of these can be easily typed, and honestly, I have a lot of them memorized myself, but you will get there too. You can also see at the bottom, there's formatting, bold and italics formatting specifically. Those can also be used in conjunction with a color code to make like a bold blue text. So let's go ahead and jump into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and I'll show you that. While we're getting into our world, how about a smart sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, straight very own Minecraft Bedrock Edition server in just a few clicks. We love to say Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on them, so go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to get your Bedrock server up and running in under five minutes. Nevertheless, here we are in game. This will work on Bedrock servers, specifically vanilla Bedrock servers. Some servers, like, you know, the sponsored servers is what I call them, basically the servers like Mineplex and things that you can join automatically don't have chat color enabled by default. Some do, some don't. It really does just depend. However, in a single player world, you would just go to where you would normally tap. You would enter that squiggly symbol, right? Now, like I said, just copy it from our website. Just copy it right like there, highlight it, right click and copy. Or if you're on mobile, just, you know, copy it like you normally would. Come back over here and paste that in. Then once you pasted that in game, you can do things like and B, which is going to be blue or aqua in this case. Hello. Boom, there we go. We want to bold our response back, right? Let's do a squiggly line, right? So we want to paste the squiggly line. We're going to do red, so that's going to be C, squiggly line again, and then L, that's going to be bold. And then we can say, how are you, right? There we go, boom, how are you? We want to use italics, we can do that. Let's go ahead and respond to that with green italics. So we're going to paste that squiggly line, right, like so. We're going to go ahead and do green, A, and then the italics, which is O. And then we're going to do, I'm doing great right? Boom. There we go. That is now sent. Now, one thing I will mention about this is that that squiggly line must be there, right? If that's not there, it's not going to work. One thing that is actually different between Bedrock and Java Edition is on Java, you need to put your formatting after your color, right? For example, on Bedrock Edition, this wouldn't work. It does on Java. So we can bold our text first, and then we can go ahead and do like blue, for example, and say, what is up, right? What is up, right? Like so, and that works, but it doesn't work on Java, you need to put your color first. And for that reason, I'd recommend just always entering the color first. For example, here, if we wanted to do gray, we could do squiggly line seven and then squiggly line zero or O, excuse me, for italics and do the breakdown, hit enter, and it's always going to work. And then if you translate to Java Edition, it's always going to work over there as well, which is why I like to kind of teach things to where it'll work on both platforms. But that's how you can add chat color. You just paste your squiggly line, Enter your color code, which is uh, whatever you want it to be from this list back here. It could be any of these different colors. For example, we wanted to do a yellow. We could do and E, right? And E. And this is going to be different from gold. And then if you want to do bold, you can do the squiggly line L. And if you want to do italic, you can do squiggly line and then a O. And then we can type whatever our text is, which is thanks for watching. Right like so. Boom. There we go. That's how you can do that. And by the way, you can combine both formats. You can do bold and italics, which is pretty cool. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content on Minecraft Battle Rock Edition. I'm out. Peace.